After nine hours in the car, nine hours driving, we arrived. So we're here back in Jeffrey's Bay. We're gonna spend the next few nights here. We're checking in at Casa Surf Lodge. In the morning, I think there's gonna be like the most amazing view. Not sure. And then here we've got one room for the girls. This looks really, really cozy. It's beautiful. And then we've got a bathroom here. Here's another bedroom. Oh, I can't wait to see the view in the morning, guys. Did you guys go through all the rooms yet? That's cool. That's a whole map of Africa made out of corkscrews, I think, or wood. And then this is another bedroom here with an ensuite bathroom. It's beautiful. This is the kind of waves they get here in Jeffrey's Bay. Oh my gosh, you guys, <laughs> look at this area. There's like an amazing, beautiful sitting area out here. This is going to be amazing. And okay, you can't see it, but the whole ocean is like literally right in front of us. I think this is going to be like the best view ever. This is mind blowing. I'm never leaving this place. They have a milk frother, an espresso milk frother. And then they have. We had a really good night's sleep last night, and we woke up to this view behind us. So, like, literally. The ocean is completely behind us and um, we're playing a bit of catch up. So we are literally two weeks away from the kids state testing. And um, since we've been traveling, we've had very little internet. So we've gotten a little bit behind, which is one of the benefits of homeschooling is that you can catch up in the summer months, except for they have their state tests that they must do. So we have to like literally open up their brains right now and cram as much information as we can before the tests and then uh, we'll play catch up uh, in the next few months over the spring and summer. So anyhow, right now we have good internet, we have a good workstation set up for the kids. So they're right now literally inside. We have um, some online Skype teachers that we're working with and uh, using different video programs to, to learn some of the things that they're learning. So that's what we're up to today. And we're gonna go find a laundry facility. We're gonna go renew the car rental because we're, we've extended it so many times that now we have to go in in person and do the, a new contract, get groceries. We're gonna make a nice home cooked meal and it's just gonna be awesome. This is what the girls look like here doing their work. So when we travel, we hook up the laptops with these little stands so that our positioning's better except for we haven't really set it up like that too much and the girls are there just preparing for their tests so, so each side literally of the crammed in catch up hi what type of triangle i was the one to judge you said you had enough and that you really want to be with me what you get is more than what you see at first you struck me like any other girl that i could find so I'm just walking out of the house right now and um, it's like got this like really nice kind of warm, warm breeze. It's just beautiful. There's always a nice breeze here. That's why the surfers love it because there's so many um, good waves, right? Which comes along with the wind. Yes, looking good. 
finally some home cooked lunches and meals, right girls? And then the best of all, yeah, look at this. That's unreal. Wow. So today is the day that we are leaving this beautiful house. We had the most amazing stay. Um, we were able to get like so much work done because the internet was a, a good enough speed. The girls literally did four days of school work with um, Skype teacher, which was amazing. So that's always helpful. We're getting ready right now to head back to Switzerland. The girls have to do their ECR testing. And so they have to do math and they have to do French as their main subjects. And Angelique, she's 12 years old, she actually has to do German. And so she hasn't done German in literally two years. So this is gonna be very interesting. Um, the good thing is, is like, it's similar in a sense to English, like certain words. So I think she'll be able to pull it off even though she hasn't really studied. So we're gonna go to the printers this morning. We're gonna go print off all her like past year's tests and she's just gonna practice with those. And we're just gonna like cross her fingers that she does okay. Um, so let me show you the view, just so you can see this beautiful view that we've enjoyed for the last few days. I wish we could have stayed longer, but we'll just have to come back another time. We had like the most amazing day surfing yesterday. The waves were in same like we went in the afternoon and i'm not sure if it makes a huge difference if you go in the morning or the afternoon but the waves were so big they really literally they would hit you and you had to like use all your force just to like not get washed like pulled back to the to the shoreline so we had an amazing time though like i feel my arms sore like my fingers are even sore like everything's a bit sore so really good workout and uh, we just loved it so it's awesome so hey Big thank you to Casa Surf Lodge for hosting us here. It was amazing and uh, we all just like, just enjoyed ourselves so much. So thanks very, very much. Here's the view. So you all can just see exactly what we enjoyed the last few days. It is spectacular. One thing that still surprises me here in South Africa and a lot of African countries is how many people walk around bare feet in shopping malls and grocery stores. You see it all the time. So it's quite different because uh, you just don't see that anywhere else. I'm gonna go back into the billabong, but this time we are looking for a suitcase. Yep. We're at the end of our trip. We just have a few extra things to bring. We're here in Jeffreys Bay and we met back up with Robbie. So we met, Tyler met Robbie, what, a month ago? Yeah, right about, about a month ago. ago. And he made a comment on YouTube and said, oh, it'd be really nice to meet up again. And so here we are. We just enjoyed a nice coffee lunch and uh, just about to head out. So nice to meet you. Uh, I'm so honored to have met you guys. <laughs> and, uh, really, fun. I'm thrilled. Thanks yeah. for popping in to enjoy that. Right now we are on our way to Plattensburg and uh, we're going to go there for a couple nights on our way to Cape Town. And then final destination will be home. So we were just in Jeffreys Bay yeah. And we just drove to here. This is where we are at this gas station, total. And then where we're heading to is Plettensburg, and this is the best spot for a sunset, Natchez Valley. And do you remember seeing dolphins there too? Yeah. This is going to be our home for the next few days. Is this the one we're going to be in? Is this the one? This is the one. This is the one. This is the one. Okay. This is the one. It's so cozy, look at it. Wow. Wow. Can you imagine? Yeah. Oh, 
That looks lovely. Look at that. This is amazing. You're always on my the cottage we're in for the next few nights. So we've got downstairs, upstairs, and Chloe's already discovered what? What'd you find? We have games here. So this one is dominoes and like a game. I don't know what it is. It has notes. And then this one is puzzles. Have fun. Yay! And Julia's just Reading, and, reading and chillaxing. There's gonna be a nice fire tonight that we're gonna put on. Looks like we have a little kitchenette right here. It's actually like a full kitchen, that's great. And then, this is the bedroom. It's beautiful. Just outside, you've got the view of the ocean. Guys, we just found our new love place. We, I, I, anyway, I'm speaking for myself, but I just fell in love with this place because just look at the view, and then you've got like a whole trail of mountains, and that's kind of like what we're used to back home, and it's just like, beautiful the sunsets are amazing we're gonna look for dolphins and whales that are going across i'm sitting upstairs like working and like enjoying the view and it's just amazing making <laughs> we're gonna let a fire light a fire we're gonna make marshmallow s'mores which we haven't done in like uh, Video store. Oh, the video store. Yeah, they still have video stores here. So it's because their internet is really expensive. I think that's why they do that. So people don't really watch Netflix like we do. This is cool. We're having like this really cool fire tonight. We're gonna like make the s'mores, like, and it's all cozy in our little chalet. We love it. I think I'm more of like a country girl. I think I like I could live like this. Cities, apartments, modern. It's not really my style. Since the girls did a puzzle over at the, the kitchen table, we decided to have a nice, almost Indian style dinner in the sense that we're sitting on the floor on little cushions right beside this cozy fire. And um, we got the most amazing focaccia kind of pizza bread with a nice salad and some chicken. It's gonna be delicious. Okay, I was cooking it, and then it catched on fire, and then I was scared. So I was like, Mommy! Mommy! And then I throwed it in the fire, and then... And we were on, and on the phone with our adoptive grandma. <laughs> She's like, Mommy! Mommy! <laughs> and threw it into the fire. Okay. All right, for those of you non-Americans, I'm going to teach you how to make a s'more. Ready? You take what would normally be a graham cracker, a piece of chocolate, Hopefully I'm doing it this right. You put your roasted marshmallow on and you smush it down in your graham cracker. Mm -mm, and you eat away. <laughs> Ready? And this is a pink one. Mm -hmm. It's just as disgusting as the white ones. <laughs> Look at how big they are. Look at this. Oh, they're hugging and kissing and Please be safe. Do not stand sick, 
behind or lean on fences. If you fall, animals can eat you and might make them sick. I'm just joking. Goodbye. Forget all the wrong into my life. And forget all the wrong you've done. So all cats eat grass before they their feeding time so that they throw up so that they have a better digestive system. And that's what he's doing behind you? Yeah, he's eating so he throws up. The one that's eating right now grass is the the one up there is a female and that one's a male. The one on the log is a female and the one down below is a male. And how did you how do you know the difference again? Because the one the male has darker skin than the female. So all these animals are animals that came from zoos or from captivity. Literally just goes back and forth all day long. The reason why he goes back and forth all day long is they said that the animals that are coming from zoos, any cat that's been in a small enclosure, they just will pace back and forth and back and forth and back and forth. So that's what this tiger is doing all day long. When you came running up to him, he was chasing you. Like yeah, he, was, he, went he you. looked like he was gonna try and eat you up. They follow as you like. It's like a, maybe it's the orange shirt. Look at that. Yeah. <laughs> you seriously have a problem. Oh yeah, it's a cat girl. So they found this lion in a suitcase um, in Egypt on its way to Algeria. And the them. reason why they keep them small is that like they in the market people can pet them and how they keep them small is they feed them junk food. And so if you give junk food to carnivals then instead of gaining weight they just because they just stay small. That's why this one is for years but looks small. Did you get what his name was? Buxy. Buxy. These are called honey badgers. Tell, yeah. tell us a little bit about this. Okay. So they, they're very small, but they're very, very dangerous because if they bite you, it, they bite in your skin and rip it off. So it would really, really hurt. And they actually can kill elephants, buffaloes, and for four lions, lionesses it takes five hours to kill them to kill one just one of them which is crazy because they can go on an eight, was it 45 eight? degree angle like yeah. their heads yeah of the heads and that will, like, so they just turn around and they bite back and venom snakes that have venom in them since their their skin is thin it doesn't go in the thick thick it doesn't go in the um vine Veins? Veins. Yeah. So they just collapse for about 10, 20 to 1 hour and then they just stand back up and attack the snake. So they're actually super vicious little animals. Yes, very vicious. The same family would be like, they said like a Tasmanian devil or something. Look at them. Marshall like thinks that these monkeys escaped, but I think they're baboons. And oh, they said they escaped a lot when they had those on there. Look at how they just climb up on the mom's back. His own hair they're, on his tail. They're like, what can we get from you? Look at these little guys. Is more than what you see. At first, you struck me like 
any other girl that I could find When you looked me in the eyes I knew that this was right You're a pretty girl with a pretty name But I'm pretty sure that you're not the same Please like you read my mind And there's more than meets the eye With you, with you So we're gonna go on a walk that's 500 meters So it's not that long And along the way there's little presents and There's little what? Please. You have no, to put away puzzles. You have to do these puzzles. And you have to get, if you get seven tokens, like if you do all of them correct, then you get a free drink at the end. Or and cappuccino. And it's puzzles, so it's going to be fun. Yeah. So mind puzzles, yeah. all different kinds. Numbers, all right. Words. And we have five minutes for each. Yeah, five minutes. If you use a clue, you don't get a token. Pretty girl with a pretty name, but I'm pretty sure that you're not the same. Please like you. Right? You have to figure out the puzzles, and then you only have five minutes. So, no, you put your token in, and if you fail it, then it keeps your token. If you win it, then it gives you back your token, and you put it back in your bucket. And if you use a clue, so we decided instead of working together, we're going to work in two teams. So it's going to be me and Chloe against. And Angelique. you get this bucket of tokens. Okay. Cool. To open this, so you take one disc. On top here, there is a disco. Just roll that one in and open. Then read the instructions here. Yeah. Okay, all the pieces to complete the puzzle. Then answer the question. Then please start solving your puzzle. Okay. Make sure you hide the crosses. You should not see the side with the cross. This side with a cross must be this side. You should hide. That's right. Yeah, Thank you very much. Once you get it right as how you have done, mind your fingers on the edges, this board closes down. How are you going to know that you got it right? The time here will stop moving here. As soon as it stops, a chip like this, a wooden one, will slide on the tray here. Pick it up, keep it safe, move on to the next one. So correction, even if you look at the clue, you still get your um, token if it's right. You don't lose your token, you still get it if it's right. Okay, so we're gonna let you guys go ahead to number two, and Chloe and I are gonna start here. All right, we won, but we had a little bit of help, right, Chloe? We had some help, though. You helped us. It's like, it's obvious, and you have to really read the instructions accurately to get it right. So was it obvious or hard? Oh, hard. We couldn't do that. You guys are going to have a lot. Okay. Do. We're going to go film the next Just one. Just the, the key is, is really read the instructions. That's what I had a hard time with. Like when I reread and he's like, no, what did you read? I'm like, oh dear. Okay, so this is our second, second one. one. We lost So one. let's see what our things are. Should we do oh. oh. She's getting like these little animal things. Oh, it's a map of Africa. Oh, this is going to be cool. It's a puzzle for Africa. Okay, it's a puzzle for Africa. Let's see how we're going to do this. Use all the pieces to complete the puzzle of Africa. Before we start the call. Okay, so we have to do Africa. We have to think about where in Africa. Our first token. We did it, and it was actually really cool. We didn't get to film it on time before it dropped down. It was, it was a whole app. map of Africa. It was really cool, right? Yeah. And on to the next one. All right, number two was super hard, right? Yeah. We didn't get it. Number three was so easy. So easy, and the challenge was, is it flipped? We didn't even realize we had it right, and it flipped over on us. How did you guys do? Yeah. yeah? That one. Here. This one. Okay, so for this one. I mean, I should get it. You have to make bird names out of the words Six they give you. Names. You have to make bird names out yes, of the letters. Out of the letters. So if you flip the thing, Chloe, we have time to read them. Okay, let's go. We're gonna go up ahead, but we're just gonna show you. So you have to make. Okay. Here are the names of six birds. You can sort them out. Okay, so this one is me and Anjali. No. Oh, this puzzle. This puzzle has. Eight pieces. Please remove all the pieces. Okay. One, 
two, three, four. What are the pieces? Eight. Let's just look at our little clue. Six and one. Six and one. Okay, you ready? Let's do this. Okay, Six number square two. puzzle. Insert the blocks so that the rows add up to the red numbers. The columns add up to the red numbers, and the diagonals add up to the red numbers. You ready? Put in the last number. That's seven. That doesn't equal 18. I'm not going to look because I don't want to cheat to see. So I'll film it without 10, looking. 11. One minute and 30 seconds on the clock. Here's our next one. Let's see our things. pieces. Oh, it's going to be one of these. Hey, don't. Three, what is it? stay here. Okay. How many birthdays does the average of African male have? How many? Okay, I'm going to say 62 because they don't probably live that long. Some months have 31 days. How many have 21? 28. 21. How many animals of each? No, only two. We know this. Because how many halves you, you in 30? I'm going to like this song. How many halves are in 30? There's 15. It's 45. Does that make any sense? Two. All but nine, so nine. Just racked our heads on that one, right, Julia? Yeah. It was like, and it was so obvious because it was how many animals of each kind did, did Moses, Moses bring, bring on the on ark? Deck. And we were like, two. And then so I switched it to zero just as a fluke to try it, and it went like, cling. It was right. So we just clued in. It was Noah, not Moses. Trick question. Make sure you read correctly. So how many tokens do you get, Chloe? How many Seven. do you have? You do? And so there's nine questions and you got seven. Yay! Yeah. High five. Thank, thank you. you. Thank, thank you, you thank you, thank you. Thank you. Okay. All right, girls, so how did you things. make up? We how did got you make up? Six. 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 And we got how many, Chloe? Seven! We made it! The guy was super nice. He just gave us all a free drink, but the girls and I, like, Chloe and I had help. So Angelique helped us with one and he helped us with the very first one. So technically, we kind of... We got a little help from our friends. We are right now at Enrico's. This is like just an amazing place to have dinner. Really good prices. And um, Enrico, he actually exists. He's back there. He's from Rome. But uh, it's exactly. the best. His <laughs> name is Enrico? His name is Enrico. And you have the best sunset views here. So tonight you won't see a sunset. But we do have video footage from the last time you are here, which is spectacular. Is like... Thanks for watching our tour of the Garden Route, South Africa. Please subscribe and give us a big thumbs up. Don't forget to comment where you're watching from. See you next time. Bye bye. bye. Mm-hmm.